take a Allie jammed her left palm into the horn until her elbow was stiff. The sunburnt knuckles of her right fist wrapped the wheel, squeezing pink tendons up the back of her hand. She swerved left on the turn, tipping 2,000 pounds of yellow Penske truck across the crumbling dashes of the two-lane highway. I gasped, my right hip lifted off the seat. And you'll see I'm no good without you. Allie's laughter broke. Crow's feet shattered across the width of her sun-spotted face. Didn't know this old truck still had it in her. This bitch will turn on a dime if you ask her to. Holy shit, that was good. She was grinning at the open road ahead, sounding out into or sounding out her horn into the snowy hills surrounding us. There hadn't been another car with us on Highway 4 for over an hour. Lake Tahoe was still another 50 miles west, and she wasn't going to stop for gas again, not after she caught me trying to call the police at a gas station outside of Stockton. <laughs> She'd come up from behind, ripped the phone out from my hand, and reminded me that unless I got my ass back into the truck, she would spend down the grand in cash I was owed upon arrival on top. Allie made quick work of my phone with her steel-toed boot, saying, It's not kidnapping. You know where you're going, stupid. I turned away from her to see the heat rising off the hood of the truck. Take my lips. I want to lose them. Take my arms. I'll never lose them. First, it was five packages in San Diego, then 12 to load in Los Angeles, another in Oakland, and three more containers in Stockton before catching Highway 4 to go inland. Each time, she'd tell me to remain in the passenger seat and to watch for anyone who might be approaching the back of the truck too closely. She would slam the door, clipping the truck's keys to her belt before disappearing into an alleyway, a warehouse, or sometimes a dimly lit apartment building for hours. I'd sing to myself to pass the time, terrified to leave the plastic cab of the Penske for the isolated street she had taken me to. I hadn't felt the comfort of a bed in days as we'd been moving northward continuously. When I did nod out, the rumble of the truck's cargo door would wake me.